because I had been diabetic for a long, long time. And then I took care of a lot of people and overdid it with You're a nurse. public care as a nurse. And um, I just became worn out. And when everybody started dying, I just was really so exhausted. And then my blood sugars were really high. And so after everybody was gone and I took care of everybody's problems, I just crashed. And so I just wanted to sleep all the time. My blood pressure was high. My sugars were always high. I just didn't have enough energy. A lot of times I'd try to walk and I could only go about 50 feet without getting shorter breath. And then um, I got a little bit better and then I had this accident, and that's when I came here. And so my memory was just really rotten, and I couldn't, I'd forget where I was going, I'd forget where I put things. I just felt like my life was terrible. My cramps in my legs were really bad at night. I couldn't sleep. My toes would lock in position, and the neuropathy in my legs was just really severe. And when I had the accident, I couldn't stand anybody to be touching me or anything. I was just in pain all the time. And so I did, couldn't do anything for a few months. And then I, well, it was actually about three weeks or so after the wreck. And then I came here and um, I'm sure you know I was a wreck. <laughs> and then with the massages and with the treatments, the electrical treatments, the TENS unit was really wonderful because it calmed down the neuropathy and so I could sleep at night. So I'm like a whole different person. I, my memory's back, the, and I feel good. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of energy now. I'm starting to be better every day, so I'm really grateful for that, so. Fantastic. Different person. <laughs> and you were on an insul you're on an insulin pump, but your insulin levels were not managed, but now they're better? Oh, yes. Uh, my blood sugar this morning was 135. Usually it's around 200 when I get up for 250. And then my A1C last time was 8.5, and I a little bit over 8. I can't remember the exact number, but I know it was over 8. And uh, I was... I was sure that I was going to go the path of my sisters and brothers mm -hmm. and everybody else in my family who had the eggs amputated and oh. I wasn't looking for that. But I feel like now I can, I'm pretty much on the road to mending and you know it was a little bit hard to get used to the medications, uh, some of the liquid drinks. The supplements, the nutritional supplements. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, uh, All those. Yes. And, one of them was terrible, you know, mm -hmm. I had to learn how to divvy it up and now I've got it down into one glass, but I had to learn to change my behavior, which was easy once I was on the medication because I didn't have that hunger that you get with your high blood sugars. You just want to eat all the time and you're just depressed mm -hmm. and feeling rotten. And so I don't feel that anymore. So I'm Fantastic. getting things done. So I appreciate what you did for me. So I'm grateful, you know, I'm happy. and. A whole different person. I hope you know that. <laughs> <laughs>